He was always bullied, but the mother says he came from heaven. It was his first time enjoying a car ride. Many people wanted to get autographs and pictures from this boy. He finally met three children whom they have same life problems. He was taken to a class and shows hope that he can manage to study despite critics and bullies saying that he is not a person. The mother says that these three children looks more like her boy. Meet these amazing children. This is another update. It was the longest journey coming back to Sintanzimana early, where we came and took him to another place he had never seen. To him, it was like a new world, as someone who is used to living in forests and bushes. Seeing him in the car, he could see everything moving and wondered why. He came out of the windows to see clearly everything. As you can see, he enjoyed the ride. For those who don't remember who he is, Tanzimana Eli was born different. He does not talk, he does not hear. He is used to running in people's pieces of land. And whenever there is nothing to eat, he goes in the bush and feeds on grass. This made neighbors think that he's not a person. <coughs> he was born with people and lives with the villagers. And you as the mother knows this very well, that without your inspection, he can feed on grass. They went on bullying him with different names such as monkeys, apes and so on. And the mother is not always pleased with people calling his one and only son such names. She instead says she is lucky to be have produced this boy because she believes Sanzimana Eli came from heaven. Mm. Our first visit to this family, the boy did not want to talk due to shyness. He fears the public, so after seeing us, he ran away in the forest and the mother who usually runs after him went and brought him. When we visited the second time, he had got used to people and he was interacting with everyone. We brought the cake him and the mother said, it was their first time testing on a cake and soda. This was one of their happiest days ever. As they say, they can never forget that day. <laughs> After all that, we thought of bringing him to see other children who were born disabled in an institution called Ubumge Community Center. In this school, there are three little children who were also born different. Hope you remember them on Aframax. Has been 10 years locked in a house. They have strangest faces one has ever known. Most people think these are maybe beasts, apes, monkeys and other animals. But no, they're just people like us. What happened to these kids? Why are these little kids like this? <laughs> they have a similarity with Tanzimana because they were all born different. As the journey was too long, we had to stop in the nearby town, take some rest, shower, eat, then sleep and continue the journey the next day. For Tanzimana Eli and her mother, it was more than an adventure.
Early in the morning, the mother had to get her boy ready for the journey. Whenever this boy sees herself in the mirror, it's quite funny. It's hard to let him just go. He keeps on staring in the mirror, wondering who the person in the mirror is and how he can touch him. In his mind, he's wondering why that person is doing all that he does and wonders how on earth that person imitates everything. We wasted no time and resumed our journey. Tanzimana had so much curiosity when in the car and according to his mother, he really enjoyed this. The mother says that it's her second time in her entire life covering such a long distance. In my whole entire life, this was the second journey. The first it was during the war when we fled to Tanzania. That was my longest journey and this is my second longest journey ever. On our way, people were amazed by seeing him and they all wanted autographs. But this boy was not aware of that. We had to stop by and allow them to say hi to this boy. In a shortest period, a multitude of people gathered. Some wanted to talk to him, others wanted to take pictures with him. As they kept on increasing in number, we went back in the vehicle and headed to Obumunga Community Center. Reaching here, Tanzimana Eli was welcomed by different disabled children where they all were shy at first but later he was friendly to other children. It became a miracle to him when he entered the room where he found young children singing and playing different musical instruments. At first he was shocked and afraid by the number of these children in that room then ran away from them. We had to bring him back, tell him to be free and show him that there is nothing wrong with being here. After calming down, he enjoyed and joined others while acting as if he was singing. He felt interested and wanted to perform. The only barrier was that he does not speak, yet he also wanted to sing. We wanted to see how he can react when taken to a school. So we got him dressed in uniforms, then took him to class. At first, it was not that easy, but later got used to be in the same classroom with other children where he was greeting everyone. This gave the mother hope and faith that when her boy is given education, it really can improve something on his life. The mother of this 22-year-old boy says she was shocked by seeing these little three children, who she says they look exactly like her boy. <laughs> I was happy seeing these children. I thought I'm the one who produced them because they look exactly like my boy. And again, I thank people and Afrimax for helping me since day one. I had always struggled, even getting food was a problem. But you came to me and from then, it's blessings. And the other time we returned with mattress, sodas, cakes, everything. I thank you all for making my life good. But after seeing my boy in class, this touched my heart and got me one player request. I wish he could attend a class. See, in class, he was very happy playing with anyone, which is not usual to him. Maybe he realized he has something in common with these ones. He looks smart in uniform. I hereby ask good Samaritans to help my boy have education. When given such education, he can learn some skills that may be helpful to him in the coming future. I was surprised when we entered this school. Before we came here, people in the village were frightening me, saying that you will take my boy to the zoo or forest, then make him attract tourists and earn money, then take that money away. I came here afraid. I had in mind that when I come here and realize it's not a school, I will call the police and report you. I was so surprised finding this a wonderful school for disabled children. And surprisingly, I met children who look more like my son. Talking to the assistant principal of this school, he said that this boy gives hope and when given education, he can learn a lot from here. Tanzimana Eli is a person. 
you can give him different commands and he can follow them. As I saw, you can teach him different basic things and he can understand. The way he quickly adapted to this environment shows if given education, he can have a bright future. Transformation is a process, and as life happens, there are tones of ups and downs. It's a journey of discovery. There are moments on mountain tops and moments in deep valleys of despair. Thank you for watching. I'm Elijah, and this is Afromax English. Remember to subscribe. <laughs>